Derrick Rose trade. And Caleb has been really wanting to talk about this because he thinks Derrick Rose is going to come back to his MVP-like self. I never – whoa! <laughs> Relax. But he was excited. I'm kidding. He was excited. Derrick Rose – Back with Tom Thibodeau. Tom Thibodeau has now gotten two of his players, former players, on the Knicks. I don't know how much longer it's going to be till he requests for Jimmy Butler, but he's figured something out. Joe Kim Noah might get signed soon. We don't know. But right now, the Knicks look good. What do you think of this trade, though? This is a little bit of an alarming trade. I texted Caleb the day of the trade. Now, we don't like to talk before our podcast but because this trade happened before we were able to record a few days before we were like let's talk about it for a few minutes Derrick Rose being traded to the Knicks makes sense if you're trying to make the playoffs makes sense if you're talking like us they're like oh we know Tom Thibodeau he's gonna make the playoffs it makes sense if your goal is win now but when you have Emmanuel quickly there I don't know what to say Caleb the Knicks franchise yet again just outdoes themselves they outdo they outdo they outdid themselves yet again i hey i will say though in the one game that derrick rose played he got less minutes and quickly which i think made a lot of knicks fans feel like breathe a sigh of relief like okay maybe quickly still gets the backup point guard role but i don't think alfred Pay- see it's hard because if they're trying to make the playoffs do you keep alfred payton who's been average right he's been good enough but you know what I mean? Like it's not, it's one of those things, but I think they look good quickly had a bad game with Rose's first game, but they look Rose looked good. 14 points. He looked good. What they brought him in for. He had a nice pass. To Obi Toppin Toppin had two of his six points. It was a career <laughs> night for him. So, you know, you look at it, you know, Steve Rose, Obi- oh, man. Rose looked good, but, but I think, if any coach knows Derrick Rose, it's Tom Thibodeau because he has coached him on every single team that he's been a head coach on. He has brought Derrick Rose in. It's kind of impressive, but he knows him. He knows what to expect out of him. I feel like that level of comfort surely points to a sign of, Hey, they want to push for the playoffs. Now do the Knicks get into the playoffs? What do you think? I still don't think they do. I I think they've started to regress back to their, their normal. Okay. Self their mediocre self. Mm -hmm. That team just doesn't have enough right now talent their right now talent is Julius Randle it's Derrick Rose Derrick Rose is all right but Detroit wasn't very good and Derrick Rose was there with Blake and you know guys that are quote win now guys now I will say though that you mentioned that he only played 20 minutes right and and Emmanuel quickly played more minutes well I will say that they actually played 21 minutes versus 20 minutes so yeah he He played one more time though (laughs) it is one more minute but I, I will say that I think with time, with Derrick Rose learning the offense, with him learning what's going on in New York, don't be surprised if Derrick Rose starts getting to that 25 minutes a game mark. You know, you can't trade for a guy like that and have him play 20 minutes a game. You just can't. Derrick Rose is a guy that should be playing 20 to 25 minutes a night. And yeah, right now he's playing that 20. But again, you know Tom Thibodeau, he's a win now coach. And if Emmanuel quickly continues to struggle, which we did say that he's starting, you know, he's going to start to struggle again. His past four games, he's had nine points, 12 points, five points, and seven points. And this is after his 25, 25, and 16. So I think Knicks fans got a little bit ahead of themselves with Emmanuel quickly. And I tried warning them last week on the podcast. I was like, I get it. Emmanuel quickly is very good. And he might be close to Tyrese. To, to be able to say, oh, well, you know. But he's not. But he's not yeah, close to Tyrese. But, but that's the thing is he might he might be able to get there, but it's just like, let's just, let's relax. He's not at Lamelo. I see these power rankings of rookies with Lamelo, Tyrese, and Emmanuel quickly all being listed. Like, come on, man. I, I just think that's a little bit of a stretch right now. I, I got I, one question for you. And all those point guards, where is Killian Hayes? Well, you know, Killian Hayes is probably out there back in France because he's like, well, I'm not going to make it in the NBA, so I might as well go back overseas. It would be a good idea to start early. You know, if he goes early, he can get a good contract out there because he for sure ain't making it in the NBA. 